All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to insert channel name here. We're going to be talking about everybody's favorite import, the Yi Chang Hurricane. The Jingzhu Kazoo, the Fu Yang Flashbang, I'm talking about the Chinese Turbo. Let's dive in. No one wants a race car, right? Something fast. Something that makes those good noises. Something that you can say with grease on your hands and cuts on your knuckles. I built that. According to the internet at large, all you need to do is buy an eBay turbo, bolt her up, and go break some hearts. Early last month, while I was scrolling aimlessly, I began to feel that very same way. I started looking a little closer at these eBay kits, and I saw them ranging in price anywhere from a couple hundred bucks all the way up to $700. Now I thought to myself, there is no way that these are costing that much coming from China. So I went ahead and did a little digging to see if I could piece together my own kit for far less. And thanks to eBay's make an offer system, I did. This Wuhan war whistle you see before me, just a typical T3, T4, Shanghai Boosty Guy Turbo you can get from eBay. These usually run for about 130 bucks. Now, I only paid 90 bucks for it, not just because of the make an offer system, but also because it's actually a previously used product. Uh, they sent it back for some reason. It was supposedly never installed. Next. What's next? So I was out sending offers for all this stuff. I went ahead and sent out some more offers on everything else I would need to make a complete Chinese Choo Choo Boy kit. I grab these oil lines, the same ones you see in all the kicks on eBay, for a spectacularly low price of $16.03. They come with all the little goodies you'd need to keep your bungu global lubricated. And you can buy everything you see on this table in a kit with your Hong Kong Hurricane for as low as $150. Blow-off valve and an adapter. I went ahead and bought this HKS uh, knockoff blow-off valve for uh, $28.50. And it came with a little weld-in bung, which I can't weld in because I can't afford a TIG welder. I can't if you subscribe to the video, though. So in light of this, I went ahead and purchased myself a nice blue adapter for the blow-off valve. With a low price of $9.99. Yeah. I purchased this year intercooler yeah. and some piping. A lot more piping than this, trust me. This is just uh, what I could carry. For $65.99 and $64 respectively. Now, what do the eBay kits want for their Woohoo Airscrew kits with everything on the table so far? About $370, not including the uh, blow off out. Seems like quite the ripoff to me. What if I throw in this boost gauge and I paid eleven dollars and fifteen cents for? What do you think that's going to do for the price of everything here on this table? Do you think it would go ahead and raise it ten bucks, twenty bucks? No. This eleven dollar part will go ahead and mark up the price of your Anhui Atmosphere amplifier by eighty dollars. Yeah, 
this little guy right here that is actually it's actually broken haven't even used it yet but you know that kind of happens with these cheap parts so now that i have a complete fang chang popping gang kit fang 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 and chang popping bang kit fang, fang, ebay turbo kit for under $300, what am I going to do? Well, I'll make it even more complete. So to make the kit more complete, I went ahead and bought this T3, T4 adapter flange so I can go ahead and try to adapt it to whatever exhaust manifold I need to. And I went ahead and... Damn it. Bought this T3, not T3. V band clamp kit. That it's not just the V band clamp; it has the little parts that clamp to it. So I can go ahead and weld it up, make a nice downpipe. And I went ahead and bought that for fourteen bucks. I paid I don't know eleven dollars and eighty eight cents for this thing. And uh, for the grand total of three hundred fifty four dollars and ninety five cents. I made a more complete turbo kit than you can buy for almost $700. <laughs> kind of fucking ridiculous when I think about it. I can't say fucking. Kind of gosh darn ridiculous when you think about it. <laughs> so, so you might ask yourself, what are you going to do with that she-she super snail kit you just put together? Well, I'm going to slap it on this here Nissan pickup. <laughs> I uh, drug it out of the pile, make sure it ran, make sure it drove. It does both okay, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and throw this whole thing on there. It, it's going to be a little bit of a wild ride. I mean, it's carbureted, and by God, I don't know very many people that have turbocharged one of these things. But I'm going to go ahead and give this 84 pickup the Beijing blowjob. Fade out. <laughs> So how am I going to do that, you ask? We're just going to have to wait and see. We both know there's a subscribe button. Perfect. <laughs>